Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make an FAQs page for your Shopify store. A frequently asked questions page can help out your customers with any questions that they may have regarding your store, your shipping and delivery time, and even questions related to your product quality and product details. I'll be showing you two different ways that you can design your FAQs page for in case you would like to have a drop-down style FAQs page, and also for in case you would like to have a more simple FAQs page and a text list layout. This video is for beginners with Shopify, and let's get straight into it. To get started, you're gonna to wanna to open your Shopify store, and then you can go in to customize your currently published website. I'll be showing you how to create a separate page in your website, and that page will be your FAQs page. So up here where it says home page, you'll want to click this. Then you'll want to click pages. And then I'm going to click create template. And then you can title this template based on the type of page you're creating. So I'm going to title this FAQs page. Once you're finished, you're going to click this create template button. And then you'll want to exit your website. On Shopify, you'll want to click pages. And this is where you can choose to create a new page. So I'm going to click add page and I've titled this FAQs. I'm going to set the visibility to visible. Next, I'm going to save this page. Then under template, this is where you can apply that brand new page template. So I'm gonna apply that template that I titled FAQs page. And then you'll wanna save your FAQs page. Next, I'll be showing you where you can go to open up that page and begin editing it in your website. So you want to customize your website. Then up here, you're gonna click home page again, and I'm gonna click pages and then you'll be able to open that new FAQs page. And this is gonna be the blank page for the FAQs page. And I'll be showing you how to customize this page to feature your different shop FAQs. The first thing I'll be doing is removing this page title. So I'm gonna click on this. Then I'm gonna click this hide icon. And the section I'll be adding to list the FAQs will be a collapsible content section. I'm gonna click add section. And this is where I'll be inserting a collapsible content section. Once you've added your section, under heading is where you can edit the title for the section. If you would like, you can choose to put additional details about the page here under caption. So I've just put a mini overview of the different FAQs that will be listed on this page. Under heading size is where you can choose to adjust the size for the heading text. And you can also adjust the heading alignment. So when customers click on one of these dropdowns, it will show the answer to the FAQ that you added. Under layout is where you can choose to either keep this current layout or you can apply a row container or a section container if you would like. I'll be applying a row container and this will allow you to select a different color scheme to apply to each of the rows. Then to list each of your FAQs, you'll want to click on one of the rows and under heading is where you can add your example question. Then under row content is where you can add your answer. Next to icon, I'm gonna be applying a different icon. I'll be applying the question mark icon. And that is how you can list an example FAQ on your new FAQs page. Then you can repeat that step with the rest of the rows. And if you need to create new rows, you'll just wanna click on one of the rows and you can click duplicate to add a new row. In a moment, I'll be showing you another way that you can do your FAQs page for a simpler layout. And then I'll be showing you how to link your FAQs page here on your website's menu. For another tip, you can choose to list an FAQ section on the homepage of your website as well. So here on my website, I've added an FAQ section closer to the bottom of the homepage. And this is a great way to add a few of your most commonly asked questions, especially if they're related to your shop and your shipping policy. And don't forget for your FAQ section, you can play around with adding different color schemes to customize this section further and to help it tie in with the rest of your website. Also, if you guys like the layout and style of this website you see here, this is one of my Shopify theme templates. I have a variety of different Shopify theme templates designed for different types of businesses. These can help you to build your website and have a professional look and layout to display your products, services, and more without you having to spend a ton of time creating your website from scratch. In case you're not too familiar with Shopify templates, the Shopify theme will arrive in a zip file format. And when you open Shopify, then click add theme, then upload a zip file. You'll have the option to upload that website theme straight into your store and you can publish it and begin editing it and adding your products. And my Shopify templates are template bundles. So they do include installation guides with instructions and screenshots to walk you through how to install the Shopify theme into your store. 
and have a wide variety of Shopify themes designed for beauty, makeup, and skincare businesses, clothing and accessory businesses, and I also have Shopify themes for dropshipping stores and coaching businesses. Most of my Shopify template bundles also include additional templates like web banner templates, logo templates, and more. If you're looking to save the time from having to design and lay out your website from scratch, you can grab one of my Shopify themes from my website, which I will link in the description box below. So in case you would like to break up your FAQs on your page, you can click on your collapsible content section. Then you can click this duplicate icon. And this is where you can choose to retitle this section and list a different category of FAQs. So for example, these FAQs can be related to your products and product details. Then you can have another FAQ section related to just your shipping details and your store's policy questions. So here I've customized this section to list a few example shipping, delivery, and refund FAQs. For an idea of another layout that you can do for your section, next to layout, you can choose if you would like to apply a section container. And here's how this section appears with a section container added to it. And once you're finished, that is a quick beginner-friendly way that you can create an FAQs page and how you can list your questions on that page. Next, I'll be showing you how to list your FAQs page on your main menu of your website so that your customers will be able to locate that page from the main menu of your website. So you wanna click on your header bar, then here next to menu, I'm gonna click where it says main menu, and then I'm gonna click edit. This is gonna open your menu editing page, and here under menu items, you can choose to edit the menu items that are currently added, and you can also choose to add new menu items to your main menu. I'm gonna click add menu item, and here under link, this is where you can choose which page you would like to link and add to your menu. So I'm gonna click pages, and I'm gonna click on that new FAQs page. Here under label, you'll have the option to retitle this label. And once you're done, you'll wanna click the check mark icon to add that new menu item to your main menu. A tip for if you would like to customize the arrangement of your menu links, you wanna click this little icon on one of your menu links and you'll be able to drag and drop the link to reposition it on your menu. And once you're done, I'm going to save this menu. Then when you open your website, you should see that new page link added to your menu. This way, when customers click on that page, it's gonna open up your FAQs page. And to preview your website, you wanna click these three dots. Then you can click this view icon. And this is how you can see your website in a full screen and take another look at your FAQs page. And next, I'll be showing you a simpler way that you can design your FAQs page for in case you would like a more list style FAQs page to list your FAQs. All right, so first I'll be creating another FAQs page and I'll just be following the same steps that I did earlier in this video. You wanna be sure to set your FAQs page to visible. This way it will appear in your online store. Then don't forget to go on to customize your website and you'll wanna be sure to create a new page template for your FAQs page. And when you open that page, you wanna be sure to apply that new page template. So I'll be showing you a way to customize your FAQs page outside of the theme editor in case you would like to add all of your content under this page content field. This will allow you to be able to customize your page almost in a blog post style format. So you'll have different customization options. You can also adjust the overall alignment of the text or of individual text lines. You can insert pictures and videos, and then you'll have additional editing options. Also, if in general, you're not too familiar with the use of Shopify, I do have an in-depth Shopify basics guide that has a wide range of sections teaching how to use Shopify, how to set up Shopify payments, how to read your analytics page, launching products, and also how to launch your store. In this guide, I've included video tutorials, written text explainers, and screenshots to help you navigate Shopify and understand each section of the guide. And I will link that in my description box below. I'll start off by adding a mini tagline text to kind of overview the different types of FAQs I'll be listing on this page. And then I'll be centering the alignment of that text. Then below that text box is where I'll begin listing the frequently asked questions in a list format. Here I've listed three example frequently asked questions in a list format. And for an example of ways that you can customize your text, you can choose to select the text. So here I'm selecting one of the questions and then I'm gonna be increasing the size of that text. And I'm also gonna put it in bold. You also have the option to adjust the text color and also the background text color. Then I'm gonna be repeating that with each of the questions that I've added. That way the questions will stand out. Then once you're finished listing your first section of FAQs, you can start another section for another category of your FAQs. So this will be the shipping FAQs 
And for this, I'll be increasing the size of the text. And then I'm also going to be centering the alignment of this text. And below that text, I'll begin listing that new set of FAQs. And once you're done, that is how to list your FAQs in a list style format for your FAQs page. At the top of this page, I'll be including a few brand photos. So to add photos to your page, you'll want to click this insert image icon to upload your brand photos. Then once you're finished and you added all of your content and your text in this contact field, you can save your FAQs page and then you can view it in your online store. So I'm going to click online store and then I'm going to go on to customize my currently published website. You want to click home page and then you'll be able to open that new FAQs page and you can take a look at the appearance and the layout of the page. And this is another page style that you can choose in case you would like your FAQs displayed in more of a list format. This can also be a quicker way of doing your FAQs page. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Don't forget if you are interested in this Shopify template, I will have this link in my description box below. And I also have a wide variety of other types of Shopify templates designed for clothing, apparel, beauty, and many other types of businesses. If you're not too familiar with Shopify theme templates, after your order, you're gonna receive it in a theme zip file format. And here on Shopify, you'll have the option to install that theme zip file straight into your store. You'll be able to edit the sections and you'll be able to add your pictures and products. Most of my Shopify themes are template bundles, so they do include other templates like logo template, banner templates, and more. Those will be linked in my description box below. Thank you all so much for watching.